It's so comforting to know that there's life after Berlitz. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good. I've been in your family for years. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Tim, I don't know if you've seen any of this dinner party. Is this, I uh, have, yes. Is this pretty standard? Been, uh, oh, absolutely, wouldn't you say? Are we doing things right? Oh, uh, I think you're doing things beautifully, yes. I mean, it looks delicious, too. You're I not from the wait. South. I sure am. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I love to see him. I could talk like that. I wouldn't have to dress up like this. <laughs> Actually, oh. one of the, 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 the best dinner party that I went to was in, was in Arkansas when we were making this movie together, Annie and I. Um, we went to visit some people who were working on the movie, and they lived in Williams Holler, Arkansas. Williams Holler? Yeah. Uh-huh. And it was like a hippie uh, community. I mean, you, you wonder where all the hippies went in 1969. They went to Williams Holler, Arkansas. <laughs> and they're alive and well and living without any electricity. And Annie actually cooked us dinner there. Uh -huh. Are you a good cook, a Annie? Oh, she's a well, great cook. Well, it wasn't easy with no electricity. Of course, they didn't tell me there wasn't any electricity. So what'd you do? Just rub two Southerners together? <laughs> no, he, and they made sparks, believe me. <laughs> he had a butane stove. He'd never used it. And it was, uh, like, vintage 1920. Mm -hmm. So it took about eight hours for the chicken to get done. But we did it. But then you had some wine conversation it was wonderful yes we were so loaded by the time that dinner arrived I think. Oh, so even, so the, so the, anything would have taken but that's good wasn't that a, don't you like the challenge of cooking on a on a retained stove well you see not really i mean tim and i had thought we would go out and have a nice dinner because we were tired of eating in restaurants and he said come on out you can cook you know i have a kitchen he didn't say no electricity, no running water. And then when we're halfway out there on this gravel road, he says, oh, and their friend's coming. So I was like, friends? <laughs> I thought I was cooking for us with electricity, but. <laughs> if, if you had a friend at dinner, you would have an elegant affair, I would imagine. She well, does, yes, she's yeah. a great cook. I've been to dinner at her house and it's real good. She does, the, she burns fish. She burns vegetables now that takes very, very well. Because there's a little bit of smoke involved, isn't there? Uh-huh. But you know, it's so good, the taste is so wonderful. My wife burns everything, then tries to pass it off as Cajun food. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we were doing this movie in Arkansas, we were in, in this hotel called the, ba the Palace Bathhouse, and we didn't have anything, you know, to cook on, and Annie was getting real kind of kitchen withdrawal. So we borrowed a toaster oven from the casting lady, uh -huh. and she, uh, we, we went out fishing in, uh, on this lake in, in Eureka Springs, and and she grilled the bass in this toaster oven and she made like sauce for it in the Mr. Coffee machine. <laughs> and, and, she, and she cooked asparagus in my Mr. Coffee machine. We had an absolute feast there. I had like four incredible. Mr. Coffees lined up and a toaster oven going. It was like a battery of them. <laughs> you see, that's what I mean. It's nice to improvise. That sounds great, yeah. doesn't it? Now the movie, the movie you're doing down there sounds fun. It's, uh, it, well, you tell me about it. It's about evangelists that uh, go awry. <laughs> it's, well, it's about people who uh, actually come in and hold up a religious TV station. Uh -huh. And we're um, playing the Reverend Ray and Darla, Darla. Porter. Uh -huh. You um, use a lot of mascara, do you? A little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, like about a ton. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we actually have a clip. Do Annie, do you oh, want to you wanna set up what we're going to see in the scene? Um, it's it, Tim and I are having an argument about, uh, I think that I'm telling him that uh, what's happening is that he's about to reap what he's sown. Um, <laughs> heavy stuff. <clears throat> heavy. The movie's called Pass the Ammo. Let's wait and take a little look at a scene Ooh, here with Annie and Tim. Watch. I cannot believe you are cooperating with these people. I'm trying to save lives. Your life, Ray Porter. Perhaps this is all a message from God. Please, hey, watching. Get that camera over there on Ray and Darla. It's 24 hours a day. Maybe it's time you tuned in to him. Let's just get out of here alive. It's only two days' receipts. Let him take it. Bill, move in real quiet on Ray and Darla. I don't care about the money, Ray. But let me warn you, as I've had to consistently throughout this marriage, that if you stand with Satan, surely you will die with Satan. Those are tough words, Ray, from a tough lady. I'd watch out if I were you. Oh, is that good? There's a lot of people. There's a lot of things going on there. There's a lot of... Everybody has a want. When you're an actor, if you give somebody a want, you want to get him. He wants the money. She wants to get out of there. And everybody was, was you knew everybody was doing something. Oh, that's lovely. It's, it's if the movie is, is as interesting as that, it's going to be fabulous. They should have shown the faith healing scene, I think. 
We, we, we get to Faith Hill in this movie. That's great. Well, this was great timing because you do started you production. Wanna be well? Do you want to be whale? Do you want to be what? Do you want to be whale? Well? Do you believe? <laughs> you know? But now you started production on this before the, the Jim and Tammy thing, so it's... it's uh... We did. In fact, um, there's a scene in the movie where I think at least two members, two lady members of the angelic choir accused me of adultery. And, we, and the day we shot it, we went home and switched on the TV and <laughs> Jessica Hahn was on. T it was extraordinary. <laughs> it was like life imitating art yeah. just to such an It's scary degree. when that happens. Real scary. You know, I, gotta, I, I saw you in 1974 at, at yeah. the Roxy Theatre here when you did... Uh, Frank and Furter and, uh, uh -huh. and the Rocky Horror Show, and you were just terrific. Then, then do you, I guess everywhere you go, you, you sort of have to, to, to enjoy that reputation. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we have a, a picture of you back in, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do people, do, do people just constantly come up and say, this, this is a part, because when you go to the movie now and everybody screams along, it's become almost a cult classic, I guess. It's memorized. The yeah. movie is memorized. It's, it's yeah. the only... I don't know well, of any other movie actually, in the world. Well, they, uh, the, the audience have... Um, a, a